Our guest was a national champion high school wrestler in 1992 <laughs> wow. and 1993. He went on to become an all-conference safety at William & Mary, and now he has a gig as the leader of one of the best teams in the NFL. He is the head coach of the Buffalo Bills. He is Sean McDermott. Woo! Good morning, Sean. Are you there, my man? Good morning. That's a great introduction, Kyle. Great introduction. I'll pay you when we get off the air here. Oh, no problem. Believe me, Sean, we went back and found your yearbook picture, your senior quote. <laughs> it was fantastic. You had it all going on, as you guys do now, though. Now, listen, Coach, we could talk about your high school career all day, but you have a hell of a season happening in Buffalo. In fact, tight end Lee Smith talked after your win against the Titans in Week 5 about how special this locker room is and how they are, quote, wired differently. What can you say about this group, Coach, that feels differently than groups in years past? Well, I'm very grateful uh, for that locker room. That's what's, that's what's driving the bus right now, the player-driven leadership that we have here in Buffalo, um, the guys that Brandon Bean has brought in to our football team. Um, they're the ones that are driving the bus, and they're a big part of our success to this point in the season. Sean, we love the fact in this NFL, this day and age, that there's points galore and all this stuff. You're a defensive coach. In the year of the hot new offense, you're a guy who has put the clamps on teams with that team. Tell us about the defensive players in that organization that maybe America doesn't know about and why it's working so well on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, Peter, it all starts up front for us uh, with our defensive line. Uh, Jerry Hughes, Starlo Tole, Trent Murphy, uh, to name a few of the guys that we have up front. And then it goes through Tremaine Edmonds, our middle linebacker, second-year player, really good player, young player for us, ascending player. And then, and then our two safeties, Micah Hyde and Jordan Poyer, two cast-offs from other teams, two free agents we signed our first year here, now in their third season in the system. Uh, they do a lot of good things for us back there and, and getting us lined up and playing at a high level. And if we switch to offense, I got to go to Buffalo for the very first time. I was on the field for pregame warm-ups, and I got to meet Frank Gore, and I got to admit to you, Coach, I was a bit starstruck. He's somebody that I've admired from afar, <laughs> his longevity every day. He's clearly just incredible. He's the fourth member of the 15,000-yard club. I want to know what you as a coach, getting to see him every day, what's the one thing that you are most impressed by, and what can you lean on him for? What do you lean on him for as a presence in your locker room? Yeah, Kay, you know, first and foremost, it's a, what an honor it is to coach and be around a guy like Frank Gore, a uh, true professional in every sense of the word. Uh, his habits speak for themselves. He's one of the first ones in in the morning, one of the last to leave. Uh, we had a meeting the other day, and I walked down to the training room. They had a trainers-only meeting, and Frank's in the middle, in the middle of the meeting. Um, and it just speaks to his habits and, and how important this game is and his passion and, and the passion that he has for this game of football. Um, he really personifies our football team in terms of the toughness, the habits, uh, the leadership. Um, what we were able to do in the last four minutes of the game in Tennessee uh, a few weeks ago, I think really uh, exemplifies Frank Gore and who we are as a football team. Coach Kyle just pointed out uh, your, your wrestling background, so no doubt Vision Quest was on replay hey. in, 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 in your family room as you that's were right. uh, that's preparing right. That's a blast from the past, right there, future. Sean. Yeah, oh yeah, a little, little shoot shot out. So I just want right. to talk about Loudest this team. Wayne. Your vision for <laughs> that's it. Knows the character. He's got it. You got it down pat. Um, the vision for this team and the culture. You're talking about building things like that with Frank Gore. You guys go on the road and become road warriors, winning three games on the road. That's not easy to do. Talk about how this team has adopted that toughness on the road. And then also, coming back home now, you're on a three-game home stretch. So what is your message to the Bills fans to get the Ralph rocking and rolling? Yeah, I mean, we, we tried to take a page out of your book when you guys went on the road on the Super Bowl runs, Super Bowl runs that you had uh, with the Giants back in the day. Um, wow. It's important that we, you can win on the road, and I think it, it really speaks to the mental toughness of our football team, the leadership, again, of our football team, and then transitioning to playing at home. We've got, a, to me, one of the, 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 the sp most special fan bases in the NFL. Um, it's unique to play here in Buffalo. As, as, the, as the story in the movie says it, um, the quote, if you build it, they will come, and, and we're trying to build something here. We're not done. Uh, we, but we've got some special people in our building, some special fans, and it's great to be able to play in front of them over the next three weeks. 
Vision Quest, Ray Kinsella. Sean is dealing his fastball this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's try one more, Coach. Last time you came on, you told us that your wide receivers earned the nickname the Smurfs. Let's go from the Smurfs to Rambo. On this show, we do a segment called Angry Runs. In week three, we crowned rookie Ted and Dawson Knox, the mm -hmm. Angry Runs champion, after his ridiculous 49-yard catch against the Bengals. It has been said, Coach, that Dawson Knox is now referred to by the Bills Mafia as Rambo. What do you think of the name, and what do you think of the player? Because my head is still spinning after this one. <laughs> well, we like to make our make sure our young guys earn every every bit of uh, the success that they have, and, and that they stay humble and hungry. But uh, I would echo that. I mean, that was an angry run, along with uh, Josh has had a couple this season. Frank's had a couple this season. Hopefully, with more to come. Uh, but it all starts up front. Our offensive line does a great job, and and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get another version of Rambo in the coming weeks here. <laughs> I think they call that a sequel. And, guys, Coach's high school senior quote, a winner says I'm good, but not as good as I ought to be. A loser says I'm bad, but not as bad as some other people. Ooh. This guy's got one of the best teams in the wow. league right now. Sean McDermott, you are the best. Thank you for joining good. us. Yeah, thanks, guys, for having me on. Coach, you should be thanking us for not showing that photo from high school. Because oh, yeah. You might put it on the air because we <laughs> love it. Yeah, we got one in a singlet, too. Yeah, great, <laughs> great hair. Ripped. Easy. Easy Thanks, there, Kyle. Coach. Easy. Yay. Thanks for having me on, guys.